Let's take a look how to find the population variance on a TI-30XS calculator. Specifically, we're going to find the population variance of the following data. So first thing we need to do is input that data in. Okay, so I'm going to go to my data button. This brings up our tables, and I'll press delete to clean out the numbers. To clean them out real fast, you can press your data one more time, and it brings up a clear menu, and you can do an enter on clear L1. Now I'm going to type in each number, pressing enter after each one. So i got 13 enter, 19 enter, 23 enter, 31 enter, 45 enter, 46 enter, 47 enter, 51 enter, 53 enter. And I'd recommend in a stats course, you use your up arrow key to verify you entered them correctly. Then after you do that, you do a second mode to exit out. Now we want to access the, um, the population standard deviation. So I'm going to do my second data to access stats. Now I want to choose one of our stats. So press enter on it. Leave those as default, assuming you put your data in L1. And then choose calculate. Now the... Um, Population standard deviation is this right here. And I've already got this written down. 14.244773.79. We're going to square that, and that will give us our population variance. So I'll press clear. Now I'll type in 14.244773.79. Now push my X squared button. And press enter. And that gives us this. Rounded two decimal places would be 202.91. Now you want to make sure you don't round your population standard deviation before you square it. For example, if I had done 14.2 squared, if I had rounded the, the population standard deviation, and then pressed enter, we would have came up with a population variance of 201.64. So sometimes you can get pretty far off. Now if after I've done my one var stats, so I'll do it again, second data, one var stats, Go down to calculate and press enter on it. You notice that there's numbers in front of all these. To access the population standard deviation directly, all I have to do is press the 4. And you'll see sigma x come, come on your screen, and then you push your x squared, and then push enter. And that'll give it to you um, uh, directly. So you don't have to type in that number. Kind of nice if you're good at technology. Now around that two decimal places would be 202.91. Now, if you got a fraction at this point, um, that means I'm going to go into mode. And you see the last option says classic versus math print. So um, this down here, math print, I think, is set up by default. You can down arrow to this line and left arrow and highlight classic and press enter. And then do a second mode to exit out. And um, sometimes you may want it in fraction form. So that depends on what you want. Um, now, let's say I've done a clear, and I try to push a 4 so I can access population standard deviation. It doesn't work. Well, if I go back into second data, into the stat, you see there's a third option now that says stat variables. So I press 3, and this brings up the same variables so I can ask, access them through this. So if I press 4 now, then I get sigma x, and then I push max squared, and then press enter. In this video, we took a look at how to find the population variance on a TI-30XS calculator.